It's not always easy to find lace in the color you're looking for. Maybe a little bit of crochet lace is just the thing. The first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot, and then we're going to chain four. In the first stitch that you chained, we're going to make three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets, all in the same stitch. I think my sister was really happy with the outcome for this dress, and I'm so happy that I had the chance to make it for her. Chain three, and turn your work. Into the chain space of the last two chains that you made, make three double crochets, two chains, and three more double crochets. On the same side, go into the three chain space and make one double crochet. Chain three and turn your work. Just like we did before, into the two chain space, we're going to make three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Then going down into the three chain space on the same side, make one double crochet. This time we're going to chain four and then turn our work. We're going to do the same process of three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Now make one double crochet into the previous three chain space. Chain three and turn your work. Once more, into the two chain space, we make three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're going to start to make our flower pattern. To do that, into our four chain space, we do one double crochet, chain two, we do another double crochet, chain two, and we repeat this until we have done six double crochets and end with a double crochet. So at this point, you should have six kind of spokes on your flower, almost like half of a wagon wheel. At this point, we're going to do a slip stitch into the previous three chain space. Turn your work. Now we're going to create the petals of our flower. Into each of the two chain spaces, we're going to do one single crochet, three double crochets, and one single crochet. You can see how the petals are forming on our flower. Once you've finished all of your petals, chain two, and then start repeating the process by going into your last two chain space and doing three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. After watching this quick video, you can visit our blog at fabricana.com, show you step-by-step -step in written form how to make this lace.